Stroke is when there's a sudden injury to the brain that's in, involving the um, blood vessels and the blood. There's two types, hemorrhagic and ischemic. So in a hemorrhagic stroke, one of the arteries that's up inside your brain bursts. So you bleed into the brain, it's sudden and severe. The other kind of stroke we say is ischemic, meaning low blood flow. And in that case, a clot uh, clogs up an artery in the brain and therefore that part of the brain that's fed blood from that artery dies. So in both cases there's injury to the brain uh, caused by either a bursting of a blood vessel or an occlusion of a blood vessel. There are five major risk factors uh, that make us all more likely to have a stroke. Uh, the worst is smoking. Then comes high blood pressure, diabetes, high cholesterol, and the, first, the fifth major risk factor is a family history of premature heart attack or stroke. So that would mean, for example, if there anyone in your family that you were related to had a heart attack or stroke before the age of, say, 55. If someone thinks they're experiencing a stroke, we want them to call 911 immediately. That's the first and most important piece of advice that we can give you. There are whole systems of stroke care, especially in Maryland. The paramedics have been trained to do stroke evaluations in the field. They call ahead the acute stroke teams. So we often know you're coming before you even hit the hospital. The key is for the general public to start the process by suspecting a stroke and calling 911. And there's a simple way you can remember, and it's the word FAST, F-A-S-T. F is for face, so if you see drooping on one side of someone's face. A is for arm, weakness on one side of the body, so the arm is weak. S is for speech, if they stop speaking or their speech is slurred or difficult to understand. And the T means time, meaning don't waste time. We would rather you come in and have it turn out to be low blood sugar than to miss the opportunity to give you a drug that could dissolve a blood clot and basically reverse a stroke from happening. Well, mini stroke is a term that's often used uh, in the sort of general parlance and what people are really referring to that is called a TIA, which means transient ischemic attack. And in a TIA, you actually don't have a stroke. In a TIA, the blood clot clogs up an artery, but then, and so blood is not flowing to a region of the brain, but then that clot breaks up spontaneously, blood flow is restored, so an area of the brain is actually not damaged, so no stroke actually occurs. So in the heart, for example, it's like having chest pain without having a heart attack. And so a TIA is kind of like chest pain to the head. Um, silent strokes are different. A silent stroke typically is a very small stroke that the person either didn't even feel or they didn't notice or they recovered so quickly they felt that they just might have had a bad day. And now that we have MRI scanners, we do find people uh, who come in for a stroke and we would tell them, do you know that you had a stroke in the past? And they'd say, no I didn't. And you can say with the MRI scan, yes you did, it's right there.